what we've done before has rarely been done at scale and for the long term. So we know it has been done in other countries. Scotland invested very heavily in their violence reduction unit on a 10-year plan, and it did take that amount of time until violence was significantly reducing. And that's what we need to do in this country as well. It doesn't mean that we don't act now and deliver services now. So there's some firefighting we need to do. We need to tackle drug markets very quickly. We need to put support in place for young people being excluded. But a lot of the work we need to do is actually with very young children who are in primary school or even before that, where we're supporting parents and in the early years and obviously if you're putting interventions in at that time the results don't manifest until another you know 5 10 15 years so we can't expect results within 6 12 18 months and too often politicians are demanding results in that time frame they're not getting them and, and then they're saying that the initiatives themselves have failed it's that's not the case it's that the VRUs if they're forced the violence reduction units if they're forced to spend the money rapidly and on initiatives that need fast results they're not going to come and then and then mistakenly you'll think that the initiative itself is flawed and it's not we've just got to invest in the long term for these violence reduction units give them the time to do the work that we know is effective and if we do do that then i'm absolutely confident that we can see violence coming down between young people one of the things that I was really struck by on the Commission was that we started by looking at violence between young people, so the violence committed by a young person against another young person. But very quickly we came to realise that the, these young people have experienced massive amounts of violence already in their lives. They're really horrific lives when you look at these serious case reviews. So they've been failed not only by one adult, but usually by a range of adults and institutions. So most of these kids have experienced domestic violence in the home, or they've seen it against siblings, or often against their mothers, and that has a huge impact on them. It leaves you know, deep-seated trauma that is very difficult to deal with. Or they've seen their own friends stabbed in the street and hospitalised or killed. This leaves a lasting legacy that I think is not appreciated often, particularly in things like media stories or, or politician statements, where the focus is very much on the violence that has just been committed by a young person, but not on the really serious, horrific violence that has happened in their lives beforehand.